It's important to polyurethane the inside of the pipe, and obviously you can't do that once the pipe is together. So before I glue this top side on, I'm going to polyurethane the inside surface of this and the inside surface of these sides. So I've gone ahead and masked off the top edges here, and then I'll, I've drawn lines to where the edges will come in here, and I'll mask off these surfaces because you don't want polyurethane on the surfaces that will be glued. And the top side of the block, being an end grain, will absorb lots of polyurethane. So I'll spray the rest of it, but I'll go ahead and brush polyurethane onto this area. So now with my glue surfaces masked off, I can go over and spray the surfaces. for the air to go through. I have my stock sized, I have the arm saw set up to cut it off at the right length, then I have the table saw set up to cut a 15 degree bevel across the front, then I'll mark the location of the screw holes and drill those. And the first holes I drill in these will be just pilot holes, which is smaller than the clearance hole for the screw. And that's so that I can transfer the holes into the block of the pipe. I'll come back later and drill larger clearance holes. Take off all the sharp edges, sand off some of the machining marks, and then very lightly sand this edge because we want this to stay fairly sharp because that's the edge that the wind will pass over. It's a very important edge. So there I have my cap. Now I'll drill the holes in the block for the screws, and I'll do that by lining, lining up the leading edge of the cap with the front edge of the block, and I'll use this block of wood to help me do that. So once that's in position, I'll clamp it in place. And now that I have the location of those holes transferred, 
I'll drill the holes in the cap larger to be clearance holes for the screws. Next I'm going to cut the little slot for the wind to, tra wind to travel through, the windway, and I'll do that using a plunge router to shave down the front part of the block here to create a thin gap for the air to travel through. Now air likes to travel over smooth surfaces so I want to round off the back edge of the block here and I'll do that using a nice sharp X-Acto knife. For the bigger blocks, I'll do some of this work before I put the pipe together, but for the smaller pipes, it's just as easy to do it quickly with an X-Acto knife. And I'll just sand it down a little bit. Then I'll use a feeler gauge here to check and see if the gap is the 18 thousandths that I'm looking for. And with that set to 18 thousandths, get just a little bit of resistance, so that'll be good. So now when I put the cap in place here, there will be this slight thin gap there, and then that's what the wind will come through and go up and hit the upper lip to make the sound. The next step is to glue the front face of the pipe on and the bottom of this face will form the upper lip of the mouth so I'll be sure to set this position with my calipers to get the proper mouth height which for this pipe is 336 thousandths. I have uh, two spacers here to hold the position of the sides or to hold the two sides in the correct position while this gluing operation takes place and this the spacer is designed so that it can be easily knocked out after the top is glued in place. There, so the mouth height is set. We'll center it at the other end. Put an extra piece of wood under there since the lip is really thin. It's too fragile to clamp just itself, but it's important to have that area clamped nice and securely.